Okay, okay massive and cool. cool. We got another one for you. This time we're going to show you how to use the filter and get that going. Doing some work in Groove Agents again. This whole video is about just using the basic stuff that comes with Cubase Pro 8. Save you paying fortunes of VST plugins, etc. Just get your samples, get in there, and get working. Right. So hit. hit. Mom says she don't care. Oi! I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Mum says she don't care what you, um, you get. We'll get curry goat. Uh, curry goat. Mum wants to try and use more. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we go. So without further ado, we're going to press play. Let me see if this is coming out. Yeah, lovely. All right, so we press that now. Okay, so this is continuing off from what we did just now. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go into Groove Agent. Now I've already sort of had a pre mess about this, so I don't sort of blah 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 on the video, and make you know make a bit of make mistakes on what I'm saying. So anyway, so you go to this page here where it says look filter, right? And this filter basically controls the filter, as you know what a filter is, right? I think as box standard, the res the resonance uh, is down. Okay, so what you do is easy, easy and simple. You right click here, you go to Learn CC. Now, I've got one of these uh, Native Instruments control, uh, Complete Control S49s, and all I do is twiddle one of the knobs on there on the controller, right? On your control keyboard, that moves about. And another useful one is to do the same with the Learn CC on here. Uh, basically you twiddle that so now once you've got that all set up this one's here that one's there yeah then what I do is I go show um, was it show cut off automation yeah so you click on that and it, I, th I think it pops up on the track uh, over here so what you do now is you go to here press play and as you turn this And what gives it a bit of character is pressing the resonance. And it's really simple. All you do is literally just do that, press record, and then you'll see as it starts to play, a pattern will come down. Oh. Right, fair news. Let me start that one again. Yeah, I sort of jumped into that too quick, right? So turn the resonance down, start off. Let me start up here where it is. Okay, so here we go. So pre counting two three and put the resonance up a bit and the trick is to put the resonance up as you're bringing the filter down because it gives it a little bit of a little bit of a, uh, a kind of a sound to it yeah so check it out we're going to do that one more time so as i put the, the filter up the reson um the resonance sorry as i bring the foot cut off down the resonance goes up to, to give it a little bit of sound because when you bring the filter down it goes quiet yeah so the resonance makes it all sharp it brings it back up again so so uh, so check out this flow check out this flow here we go uh one two three and Right, there you have it. So let's just have a quick look here. If we change this about here, you get um, a few more parameters come up. Uh, you've got hard clip, you've got bit uh, bit red and bit rate. You can mess about with all these other things. Uh, the next, another good thing to do as well is to put the um, uh, an LFO on the filter. But um, unfortunately, so far, I haven't actually seen an LFO on here. Does anyone know how to do LFO on Groove Agent SE4? Comment down below, let me know. Hope that's useful for you. Take care. God bless. Peace. Blah, 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 blah.